This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 26 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. Alright, we're going to continue working on this back piece by adding in uh, little cylinders and box like apparatuses. So, select these internal things here and inset them about mm, 0.455. Press grow. Deselect these. Bevel as a group. I'll bring the height down. Bring that down. And do that. Give you a nice little lip. Next, we're going to want to create a box. And just create one like that. Align everywhere but the, so align the X and Y, bring it up, and just try to approximate where it is in the picture, so it's right about there, and increase the width, and the length just a bit, okay, Back in perspective, find it again. Um, convert it to an editable poly. Select these, connect, and bring it right below there. Okay. Select this poly down here and extrude. All right. Um, select the entire thing and just bring it down a bit. Okay. Uh, next, you're going to want to just select the edges here. And chamfer. Make the chamfer about 0.22. Okay, um, effect pivot only, align to that, alright, then rotate 90 degrees and make three copies, okay, next let's just um, freeze this back plane and go into the front view or whatever view you have it in. Create a cylinder that is about that big. So, right, give it 20 sides. Um, align it. In the XY to that. All right. Convert to editable poly, set this poly down here, and inset it like so. Go into perspective, and let's just shrink that down a bit. So bring it in, okay. Um, select the internal polygon bevel, and you're going to want to bevel inward a bit, okay. Select this edge here, loop, chamfer, or loop and chamfer. All right, then let's create. Actually, we can just do it here. Um, oh, select it. Polygon select these top two, bottom two, side two, and the other side. Go to the front, let's see, not that far away, so extrude and bring them down until they reach a little bit past this line right here. Right, and let's see what this does. OK. 
Okay, local maybe. Yeah, so going to local, I'll just flatten these out. Okay, back into perspective. Edges, select. Okay. Manually select these edges here. Um, yeah. Continue selecting. All right. Chamfer. Give it a nice chamfer. All right. That's the base of the back piece done. Looks pretty stiffy. Okay. So let's add some rivet things to it. Uh, cylinder. Create one about yay big. Oops, make the height positive there. Give it six sides. Convert to editable poly. Inset it a bit. Okay, and extrude a bit. Rotate 180 degrees and slip it into this corner. Okay, rotate 90. Move it down here. And over here, rotate 180. Right, bring it up here. All right. Um, next we'll create, let's see, alright, we're going to create a box right around, uh, let's do it here, uh, increase the length a bit, don't actually know what this does, so. Just kind of guess. So convert it to an editable poly and let's bevel. Oops. Okay. And then just to add a little in here, break it up a bit, connect these twice, then connect those two once, polygon, polygon, extrude, and just extrude them a bit, alright, uh, then extrude them a bit more, and just drag it back, so we get kind of a Thing going on, and come to the front and drag it over. Okay, and I don't think there are any in the bottom there. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, 